Please go look for my friends. Village here has been totally wiped out. You could have saved us all. So you came after me, I see. You think I'm dangerous? I need to put you down before you hurt anybody else. And now I must die. Can't you see what I was trying to do? Hopefully Kessler isn't a loon like Marcus was. Stay focused out there, you hear? We will get through this. I know we will. A little so bit. <laughs> Bring me more. Whatever you find. Please go look for my friends.
All right, Harlow. I'm at Kessler's outpost. All right. Find a way in. Oh, great. Another run-down shithole. Ah, let me open this puppy up. That intercom works. Kessler, you in there? Who is it? What do you want? I need your help, Kessler. Please, let me in. I am busy doing serious research here. I have no time for visitors. Leave me be. Sir, it, it's about that research. I read your study on Kuru disease, and I, well, I thought it was right on target. I just have a few questions about it. I swear I can't get a moment's peace around here. Very well, come in.
Here we go. I knew there had to be some fucked up shit somewhere in here. All right, I let you in. Now tell me what you want. I heard you know a way to Henderson through the old Japanese tunnels. There aren't any tunnels. Now get out of here. I am a scientist, not a tour guide. Stop wasting my time. Marcus Villa told me about the tunnels. Now, just tell me what I need to know. You saw Marcus? I haven't seen him in ages. He was brilliant, you know, in his own way. But let us just say there are reasons we no longer work together. Very good reasons. Yeah, well, he tried to eat me, so hearing that you kicked him to the curb isn't a huge shock. He wanted to eat you? That doesn't make any sense. Sure, he went to live with the natives, but they've always struck me as peaceful people. Perhaps he was worse off than I even imagined. But that does not explain why he would resort to cannibalism. I'm immune to the plague, and he thought my flesh was the key to a cure. Wait a moment, are you saying that you are immune to what's happening out there? Well then, this certainly changes things, doesn't it? Yes, I'm afraid it does. Yeah, I have a map that you should find helpful. But if you want it, you need to help me with something. I have been researching this disease for many years now. Kuru has been endemic to the indigenous people here for centuries. This outbreak is one of many. And each incident is a little different, as is the trigger that reawakens the plague. It's truly remarkable how this prion disease adapts and changes, how it mutates when exposed to external factors, the speed at which it affects the host organism. Astonishing, really. But science can be unpredictable. Dangerous, even, you understand? Yeah. Yeah, I can see the bodies from here, Doc. A truly unfortunate accident, one that was largely the fault of my assistants. I assure you, I had very little to do with what happened out there. Yeah, yeah, tell someone who gives a rip. What do you want from me? I am merely trying to make it clear that I am not an evil man. In times such as these, it is easy for men of science to be blamed, persecuted for their actions. Especially by people who possess lesser minds. My four assistants were in possession of some reagents, chemicals, contained within vials. Unfortunately, those vials are out there in the greenhouse. Bring them to me, and I will give you the map. Do we have a deal? You got it. You will probably need to kill all four of them in order to secure the vials. But there is no saving them now. You will be putting them out of their misery. Find that map and have it ready to go. I cannot conduct my tests without the reagents. Melby and Howard were lost in Kundera. Johnson was attacked by this abomination, and Murphy put a bullet in him as his screams were raising the dead. At least they look and smell bloody dead, but I mean, how can that be? Well, they came from the jungle, from, from everywhere, snarling like hungry animals. Miller panicked and ran into a whole mob of them. They fell on him like rabid dogs, tore him to pieces, and the rest of us barely made it out alive. I was bitten on the shoulder and the others were sure the infection would take me as well. And soon after we went to sleep, Jenkins tried to murder me. I had no choice but to shoot the bloody maniac. Everyone's scared to death. At this point, I think our only option is Henderson. At least there's a military base there. Most of our families are there as well. I just hope the city's still safe. Shit, what a mess. Hmm, anything good in here?
is next! The reagent is mine. Got it. That's the last region.
August, we're done. Something good in here? Good, good. Now I can conduct my tests. I only require a sample of your blood. If you don't give me the map, I'm gonna feed your ass to your infected pals. Got it? I am doing a poor job of explaining myself. You are clearly immune, that much is certain. But that does not mean that you are safe. There is a strong possibility that the virus is in your body. And if it is, it could mutate. And depending on how it mutates, you could be in grave danger. All I need is a small blood sample. I run a simple test and then we'll know. This is for your own good. All right, go for it. Okay, you will feel a little prick. Nothing to worry about. See, that wasn't so bad, was it? If I had a little sweet, I would give you one. When this is all over, you need to have your head examined. I was merely trying to lighten the mood. Oh, it will only take a moment to prepare the sample. Please be patient. This is truly astonishing. Just like Christmas morning. completely resistant to the virus. Tell me something I didn't know. No, it is not what you think. Your resistance to the virus has kept it from multiplying, from wreaking havoc on your body. But it has not destroyed the virus. It has merely suppressed it. You need to be very careful. Any contact with certain types of reagents could trigger a mutation. And if the virus mutates, it stands to reason that you could lose your immunity. Or much, much, much worse. Unfortunately, there are so many factors to consider that it is impossible for me to tell you exactly what might happen. But one thing is clear. You should avoid anything that would put you at risk. What do you mean? Your plan was to use the tunnels to reach Henderson, correct? Yes, the Japanese created them during World War II, and later they were used to store chemical weapons. In the 50s, during a monsoon, there was a leak, 
when some of those chemicals work their way into the water. The Aussies sent in a battalion of engineers and soldiers to clean them up, but they weren't successful. When they went into the tunnels, one of them must have been infected. The virus mutated and all hell broke loose. The Aussies had to blow the entrances to prevent the infection from spreading. Most of the men were still down in the tunnels. I have long suspected that exposure to those chemicals is what caused the infected soldier to mutate. Anyway, you need to find the old Jesuit mission. A passageway runs from the ruins down into the tunnels. Here is the map, as I promised. I cannot stop you from going down there. That is your decision. But if you do, use an abundance of caution. Try to avoid prolonged exposure to the chemicals. I wish you best of luck. Thanks. Harlow, answer the radio. Thank God I was starting to worry. Did you get the map from Kessler? Yeah, I got it. Gonna be a pain going through the tunnels, though. You can fill me in when we meet up. Where are you going now? To find the entrance to the tunnels. We must investigate it. For your own good. And for the good of mankind. What do you need? We need more data for my research if I'm going to be able to help you. If you're heading to the tunnels, please, be observant. Bring me whatever unusual you find there, will you? Yes. Excellent. There might be a strange substance or, or a monster that you have not seen before. Maybe some trace from the Australian force.
Hey, mine's over here. This will come in handy. open this puppy up.
We knew we couldn't stay with Dr. Kessler. We asked him to come with us, but he's determined to stay. I don't know, maybe we can send help for him once we reach Henderson? There's a military base there, and if there's anywhere that's still safe, that's probably it. The rain has been steady. Oh, and it's coming down harder, and the river is starting to rise. We're all worried the road will wash out before we can make our way there. Oh, the mosquitoes are eating us alive. Tom seems feverish, and I see how the others are looking at him. He says he hasn't been bitten, but this is clearly a bloodborne disease. Couldn't it be transmitted by mosquito? I mean, why would it be any different from malaria or West Nile virus? And if that's true, we all might have it, and any one of us could turn at any moment. What do we got here? Yeah, you're all welcome to help out any time. Please go look for my friends. Hey! Do you need... 
need anything. Please go look for my friends. Something. Still need to 